Hello YouTube, welcome to the final tutorial in this series. Um, basically, I'm just going to finish up the program quickly. Um, so, I'm just going to jump right into it. Here, under the get name method, after we start the program, uh, it says please enter your name and then we want to be able to enter the name. So, I'm going to say name equals scan dot next line. Uh, line. And basically what this does is it says cool. Uh, whatever they type in on that line will be equal will be set in this variable called name so I can then um, I can print it out and I can say um, hello and whatever their name was and if I run the program quickly you will see it does work so please input your name Josh and it should say hello Josh and it does okay so once we're done with that we want to go on to the get movie let me get movie method so we're just going to call the, the method like that and that's you know it's pretty simple that's how you call a method like the get name uh, call over here and then it's going to go on to this get movie uh, method over here so it says please select a movie then what I want to do is I want to be able to print out this movie list now what most people th were thinking was I can just print out movie list right well it doesn't really work so if I run this I should say Josh it gives me this over here basically this is just a reference to where it is it's um it's still printing it out it's not an error but yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it inside a for loop um, I'll show you why now I'm gonna say for int i equals zero okay I'm gonna go movie list dot length is less than i i plus plus basically what this is going to do is it's going to repeat um, the list it's going to go through the list until um, i is equal to how many how many places they are in the movie list so one two three four so there are four places in the movie list and it will print each one out so it's quite simple all you're going to do is uh, use a print out uh, statement like that say movie list and then i so whatever number i is equal to so say i is equal to one it's going to print out saw the reason it's going to print out saw and not the avengers is because the java starts counting from zero not one so zero one two three so even though there are only three uh things in my array it's still or even though there are four things in my array it still only reads it as there's three but meanwhile there is four so whatever i is equal to it will then print out um, those so on the first try i is going to be equal to zero so it's going to print out the avengers uh, then it's going to add one to i then on the second try i is going to be equal to one so it's going to print out saw and so on until it gets to the end so basically if you look here what i'm going to do is i'm going to start the program and run it quick so josh uh, please select the movie and it's not printing out my movie um, why is that okay I see basically I was meant to put movie list dot length after I so I'm just gonna go quickly there I is less than movie list dot length and then it should work so just run the program Josh and there it prints out each um, thing so now what I'm gonna want to do is I'm gonna want to create a number um, well, I'm going to create a variable called number and I'm actually going to assign that now so I'm going to say number is equal to scan dot next int and then I'm going to use that so whatever they put in on that line is going to be equal to this number variable and then I'm going to say um, I'm just going to tell them what movie they selected and I'm going to say you selected the movie um, and then I'm gonna say plus I'm gonna go number no I'm gonna go movie list in the array I'm gonna go number minus one because remember they see this as being position one meanwhile it's actually position zero so whatever they say they are one ahead to the actual position in my array so to get it's in sync I'm gonna have to say whatever they say minus one and then it will print out what they choose so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, cool, run the program, Josh, and then I want to print out, number one, the Avengers, and it prints out the Avengers. 
But here is a problem. It gives me this um, brackets one over here, and I don't really want that. Okay, and um, basically that is a great thing for. Um, well, uh, we're using another method here. Um, basically, what we're going to do here is we're going to go after this um, dot one bracket over here because that's uh, saying which position it is. After that, just go dot and say substring. And you're going to want to just go here to this uh, int arg0, int arg1. And basically where this arg0 is, is the starting point. So if you look here, that is um, one, two, three characters. So I'm going to want to start from position three. Okay, um, it's actually, I'm starting on the T because that's one, two, well, that's 0, 1, and then 2. So 3 is the T. And then for argu argument 2, I'm just going to go um, movie list. And then I'm going to put in the number dot length. And uh, that's just saying whatever number they picked. So I picked the Avengers. However long that is, uh, it's going to start at T. And then however long it is till the end is the length of it so that's where it's going to end so it's going to print out the avengers so if i say cool i say josh and i say one and it no it's not why is it not doing that now oh again because the number didn't have a minus one I forgot the minus one again okay so I just go run say josh one and then it prints out the whole thing the avengers Okay, so once we have said that, we want to go and ask them how many seats they want. So what we get here is we say get seats, and that we'll call this method over here. So now it's going to print out, choose how many seats you would like. We're going to say cool. Uh, so the seats variable is equal to scan dot uh, next, not next line for this one time, just next. And we are going to say, we're going to print it out for the final time, saying, thank you. Um, go to a new line, that's the backslash n. And basically, now what we're going to be doing is we're going to print out their ticket, so-called. So we're going to say, um, you have selected plus seats, plus, and then start a new thing and say seats again because now you want it's just going to print out a number over here so we want to say seats wrong we want to say seats there to make sure they know what's going on um, okay so just go seats or seats um, and once you're done with that just go for the movie and then add on what movie they selected um, in this case, all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this thing up here because it's quick, it's easy, and it is already working. So I'm just going to do that. And why is that not working? Oh, because the number here is a local variable, not a... Um, it's a local variable, it's not a global variable. So I'm just going to quickly go and say static int number and then it will work. So if I go and I do this, I start, I run the program, I say Josh um, and one for the Avengers, it says how many seats would you like? I'd like four seats and it says thank you, you have selected four seats for the movie Avengers. Just to show you it works with every other one as well, I'm going to start it again, say Josh. I want to go see Saw. Um, how many seats would I like? I'd like six seats. It says, thank you, you have selected six seats for the movie Saw 4. Again, Josh, I want to go see Prometheus for two people. Uh, thank you, you have selected two seats for the movie Prometheus. Start it again, last time, Josh. Um, I want to see The Simpsons, and I would like six seats. Six seats for The Simpsons. And that is the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. And just, uh, if you want, just give us an email or let us know what type of tutorials you'd like and we will get started on them. Thank you very much.